to land on a trip. I know. And just fly. I into the know snow. that's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be so It'll bad. Be glass and blood everywhere. It's going to be so bad. Oh, there we go. Are you on frame or? There we go. I'm here. Wow, man, we're looking good. Ty has new glasses, yeah. and it's five o'clock at yeah. the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, and he can see it clearly. I'm old. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah, thanks for being here. This is the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Yeah. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that like button. And please subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, do hit that the bell. Thing. All that good stuff. We have something cool. Um, I can tell you what it is. I can't tell please. you much about it. Please tell us. James Eddy's. James Eddy's. I think Eddie's I'm pronouncing that correctly. Trademark X. Trademark X. 45.6% blended Scotch whiskey, blended and bottled in Scotland, established 1854, registered 1877, revived 2017. Uh... What's that all about, bud? Revived. What's that so, mean? This went away in the 40s. Ooh. Um, and literally, literally disappeared. Is Eddie's from, a Jewish name? I don't know. Okay. Uh, disappeared forever. So we thought, well, not we, because I wasn't alive in the 40s. Me neither. But uh, yeah, all of a sudden, 2017, his great, great grandson revived the brand. And there were 16 whiskeys in the original. Okay. And he has, the blend. Yeah, he has 14 of the 16 original. Okay. And some of them are actually closed distilleries. Probably why I couldn't get the other two. I would say it probably doesn't exist. Cool. Yeah. We will let that slide. <laughs> so I am very excited to be drinking this whiskey. It's, uh, man, this is such a cool story behind the bottle. And we'll find out if it's delicious or not. I, mean, I did forget to mention unchill filter. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Unchill filter, I would highly assume natural color. Yeah. Because of the straw color. Little floaties in there. Oh, treasures. Yeah. <laughs> Bonuses. So this is a exciting whiskey. I mean, a family thing. Revived. I can't uh, speak to the old stuff. I just I just never tasted it before. Maybe we'll see if we can track down a bottle. Oh, from the 40s? Yeah. Hmm. It exists. Oh, yeah, in someone's bunker. Yeah, it might be They're... cheap. You might find it on auction. I doubt you it. You might. For cheap. Yeah. Well, I find some you and I have stuff. varying definitions of cheap. I find some weird stuff for uh, cheap sometimes. But yeah. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. The nose is there. Mmm. I got some on my nose, actually. I wanted to get that one in right away, get things warming up here. And already, that's a delightful blend. I was going to say, it's very pleasant blend. Cool. That is an absolute fact. Um, God, I'm a little speechless. That's yeah. I should have said a poet. The oh. nose, it smells young, but uh, not, not uh, hand sanitizer young. Mm -hmm. It smells young as in... Um, didn't spend a hell of a lot of contact with wood. So it's not spirity, but it's a little bit sharp on the nose. But there's there's some nice vanillas in there too. 45.6 and some it's nice kind of waxy like notes. That. Yeah. Yep, it's a uh, mm. it's a very flavorful whiskey. Hmm. I enjoy the flavor that it's um there's a there's a note in there. I just can't put my finger on. Hey. Yeah, it's kind of hay. Barnyard hay. I could see hay for sure. Straw, like. This is quite pleasant, I think. Anyone yeah. would enjoy this. It's, it's, it feels like, when I put it in my mouth, it feels like I could roll it around in my mouth like a ball. That's what she said. Like candy. Yeah. Oh, candy. Yeah. Oh. Ball. Like one lone ball. Yeah. Some men. They go through their whole lives with only one ball. It's fine, you know? Not bad. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's really good. It's got a touch of sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, not overpowering. You know, like it's, mm. it's, it's a subtle sweetness. Yeah, yeah, subtle like a vanilla oaky sweetness. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. I do too. I rather enjoy this. And I'm happy to see that this stuff is in Canada. Um, I, I do rather enjoy uh, my blends, and I usually like my blends a little more pungent and a little more sherry forward, but this is quite quite uh, a delicate and seemingly refined blend. Oh, I like 
I, like I don't. Some, I don't find that. Yeah, you like that nasty pungent, pungent stuff. I do. I do like the pungent. This is not that. Not at all. It's polar opposite. No, it's pungent. Perfect amount of sweetness. Perfect amount of heat. Earth tones. Heat. There is some heat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just something very, very. Um, it's just good. It's just good. Yeah. Something um, alluring. Like I wanna. I wanna have another sip and another sip and another sip. Well, I mean, we can. We will. Nothing's stopping us. We shall. We're adults. We make our own decisions. We can do whatever we want here at the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. Yeah, we're not Britney Spears. We don't have a conservative ship. We can do whatever the fuck. Nor does she. That's right. Hashtag Britney. Britney. Cheers, girl. Mm. I see you. Well, we see you. Let's go drink that. Yeah. Um, Cool. James Eddy. James Eddy. James James Eddy's great great grandson. Yeah, cheers. I didn't catch his name, but you know, cheers to that guy. We're gonna call him James Eddie the third, fourth, fourth. third. I don't fourth? know. I have no idea. Great, that. great grands. Yeah, fourth. Yeah, yeah. We don't know that though. James Eddie squared. James Eddie to the power four. Yeah. Cheers, cheers brother. Dog. Cheers, cheers to you, Ethan's. PWS. Thanks for bringing in some cool shit. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yum. Yeah.